gotta save Victoria, man. She's the worst, but we gotta save her. What is that drawing that was just there? I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Oh my god. Everything is so heavy right now. This is like that eclipse. You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is yeah, that? Can't be too much. Jesus, moved. Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Are like worlds overlapping? Into the, the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey. We still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs> oh, Warren. Oh my god, what's gonna happen? Where the hell are you? Ugh, I hate touching all these Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Oh, uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? I know what girl. Why does Nathan creep you out? He should. I, I just want your reasons. He's a bully for one thing, and he hit Warren for another. But have you ever looked at his eyes? Glazed and raging. Me, no life. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money. Even with Why am I having this conversation? There's so much going on right now. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. 
This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Okay. Well, that was good at least. Wasted. I could have done voices with this game. This pool. Oh, it's happening at the pool. Interesting. I just figured they brought a pool in there because they're rich as f. Whoa, Max! Take him down. Oh yes, I'm a. Oh hi, Daniel. Yes, Max makes an entrance. <laughs> Only came to the party because of you. I'm glad to see you out and about. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott tonight? No, I've been hanging with Brooke since I got here. Max, are you okay? Your face looks so serious. Uh, I know. I'm. I'm not in party mode tonight. You look like you're on a secret mission. I am! Where it's going to end. For Rachel's sake. Oh, Max, you need a black whale brain. I'm taking Brooke to a Miyazaki show in Portland. If you want to come along, more the merrier. Thanks, Daniel. I have to stay on my mission now. I hope you stay on yours and become a great artist. Well, I'll be celebrating someday in a museum, Max. Adios. God, wouldn't people just be like, yo, why do you keep talking in a I'm never gonna see you again way? I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. So why are you here tonight? No homework? Boredom? Waiting? Have you seen Warren tonight? No, I was talking to Daniel. He asked me to go with him to the Portland Art Museum this weekend. Oh, um, that, that's so sweet. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guy. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? You're not selfish, bro. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise, and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. I can't tell if you hate me or not. <laughs> it is so weird. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well... Oh God! Young, but so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has to lose. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. Oh God! I need to find Victoria ASAP. Oh, really? I'm avoiding almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I want to make sure he's not going to do, do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. Oh, wait, I did see Nathan today. Nursing a busted face. Hell yeah. I had dreams that somebody finally kicked his ass. Well, Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Warren gave him an epic beat. Yes, give it up to Brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Panda State. I met him once at a Bigfoot's game. He fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. Oh, thank you for helping Kate and for keeping it real. Peace out. 
Oh, God. Bigfoot on otter action. Jeez. Oh, oh. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't give a shit about being a member. I just want to talk Victoria to Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. What? I would just- just walk the fuck in! This bullshit club. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? <sighs> yes, you do suck. Hmm. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Can we just go to the other side? Or what? Hey, Max! What are you doing in here? Ah, oh, graffiti! If I get sick now, I can drink more later. What is happening in here? Hello? Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Like Ugh, Max. This is my last Vortex Club party. Oh, no. Not again. Oh, no. Uh, uh. Yeah, there we go. I I'm not in the mood, but still. This could be an interesting shot. <laughs> Hilarious. Ah, only one left. I feel like I need to go the other way. If I have to come back here, then so be it, but... What, I can't run in here? Boo! All right, let's walk this way then. Why is nobody over here? Ah, sick! What? Oh. Uh. You walk yes, you! What the hell are you doing over there? You stop! Ah, man! Is there something else I can do? Oh man, there's literally nothing I can do. Okay. Let's go back to that choice. Hmm. hmm. I could push this out of the way and officially crash the VIP section. There's no way to get out of here after that. Unless I jump in the water. Oops. Nope. Man. Okay. This this is not the way to do this. Oh. Oh, but I'm on the other side now. Oh, lol. Well. Has 
sit. No way. Can't sit now. Juliet and Zachary. Trevor, Dana. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? Yeah, that would be wicked. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go I need to talk to you. Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. I need, need to talk to you about shit. Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me and everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here Spelling who knows what Nathan is going through. Oh this my is god. bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Is that what you were trying to tell Mr. Jefferson last night? Uh, you saw me talking to him? Saw. And heard. We were just talking about how excited he is for the Everyday Heroes contest. That doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. I hope you win fair. We'll see. And Max? I know you don't like me either, so it's not like we have to be friends or anything. Why are we talking about this? <sighs> Why the hell not? We're both into art and photography. We're both kind of weird and pretentious. If we hung out with our attitude, we'd get along fine. I almost asked you to hang out. You said my photos were Abaddon-esque. Then I remembered who I was. You should have asked me. It would have been cool to compare photo notes. <laughs> Dude in the background. Too much alike. You might be right. Well, Max Caulfield, there's still time for you to get in the Vortex Club. I actually hope so, Victoria. Why do you say it like that? Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but... He is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him, and stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time, and I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Okay, that went better than I expected. Way better than I expected it to go. I'm glad I warned her. How did you get in here? What the I fuck? There's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. I hope she's okay. There you Oxygen are. kit? Oh. Chloe, Nathan's <laughs> not here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it. Oh, uh, uh. Hey, Mr. Jefferson. I have shit to do. Bye. Are you both okay? 
You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. Anyway. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I thought... I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this Good is Jesus. the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Oh, my God! Oh, be careful, be careful, be careful, everybody, Thank be careful. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Well, yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Oh, God. Oh, Christ. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Oh no, but... What if that's exactly what he wants, is for you to leave the school? Oh god. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Where are the moons? There it is. You're gonna suffer, Nathan. <gasps> Whoa, what the shit? What the fuck? 
I knew there was something weird about this dude! Holy shit! Oh my god! I've been drugged so I can't rewind. Oh my god. Oh my god. This episode was so heavy. Like, from beginning to end, so heavy. Like, the stakes are so much higher feeling right now. Oh my god. And the next episode's the last one. Oh, jeez. Why is the teacher... I guess he could possibly be part of it? <gasps> or no, that's dumb. <laughs> I was gonna say or he's an he also has the ability to time travel and is an older version of Nathan because like he's also fantastic at photography. Ugh! oh my god. I'm still so curious about what happens at the beginning when uh if you if you agree to help her commit suicide, I wonder what happens. Man. I don't know what else to say. Like I have god I don't know what else to say, because, like, thinking about what the next part could be, like, how is all of this going to tie into this weird time travel multi-universe idea? Like, how does that connect to all of this very real drama that's, like, the actual story, you know? I still don't see it. I still don't see how it can connect. But I want to know. Oh, man. Whoa! 55% accept. Man. Let Warren beat up Nathan. Chloe wounded Frank. No one got hurt. It was most people. Nah. <laughs> Victoria believed your warning. That's good. That's good. Next. You let the blue jay die. Wait, what? I don't even remember there being an option for that. You didn't disturb the bird's nest. You got David's files in another way. Oh. Yep, wow, well, whatever. <laughs> Kate didn't help you. 
You motivated Daniel to attend the Vortex Club party. You didn't leave a message on Warren's slate. You didn't figure out Nathan's pin code. Which wound up being the easier way to do it. You didn't help Alyssa. Man. Jeez. Well, 